Are you ready to become a business owner? Starting an RV park business could be the perfect opportunity for you. With RV travel on the rise and the RV industry projected to reach $114 billion by 2027, now is the perfect time to invest in this growing market. Don't miss out on your chance to cash in on this exciting industry. Watch this video to turn your dream into a reality today. Starting an RV camping park can be a great business opportunity as there is a high demand for camping in the United States. One of the first steps is to decide on the location for your RV camping park. It is essential to choose an area that you are familiar with and that you enjoy. Instead of building your own, it may be easier and cheaper to buy an existing RV camping park. But if you choose to build it, you need to take into account the cost of outfitting each RV area, which can be up to $20,000 per rental space. This includes water hookups, waste disposal, and electricity. To operate your business legally, it is necessary to establish yourself as a business entity, such as an LSC or corporation, and file for the proper construction permits. You will also need to research and comply with all regulations concerning public water usage, wastewater disposal, sewer, burning, and utility usage, and that you maintain the proper licensing. Business insurance is also crucial to protect yourself in the event of a loss or liability situation. To target your market, it's a good idea to think about whether or not you want your RV camping park to have a focus. For example, some parks cater to business retreats, whereas others lean toward creating camps that are attractive to groups of children. Advertising and marketing your RV camping park is crucial to its success. Joining the National Association of RV Parks and Campgrounds, developing a social media presence, and having a responsive website that allows people to reserve camping space are good ways to start. Starting a business is not for everyone. It's a big commitment and it requires a lot of work and dedication. The truth is, it all depends on one thing, your commitment. Your commitment to the business can lead you to a billion-dollar business or a big failure and waste of time. If you feel like you are ready to take the jump, work 100 hours a week, and create something amazing, then by all means go for it. But if you feel like you wouldn't do much work and would procrastinate, then maybe starting a business isn't such a good idea. It's important to be honest with yourself and your capabilities. No matter what your decision is, be sure to consider your level of commitment, as it is, in my opinion, one of the most important qualities you can have to create a successful business. It's not about the money, it's not about the fame, it's about the passion and the drive to make something happen. Starting a business is not easy, but it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. It's a journey that requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and commitment. But, if you are truly committed, you will find a way to make it happen. An RV park business can be a wise and money-making endeavor for various reasons. For one, the popularity of RV travel and camping is increasing as more and more people look for different ways to travel and experience the country. And this trend is expected to continue growing as the population ages and retirees have more leisure time. Additionally, there is a growing trend towards sustainable and environmentally friendly travel, and RV parks can provide an eco-friendly lodging option. Additionally, starting an RV park business has a relatively low cost of entry as the initial investment for facilities and equipment can be relatively low and it can be run as a single proprietorship or small partnership. Furthermore, the RV park business can be adaptable to different locations and demographics, offering opportunities for niche markets and catering to specific customer needs. Additionally, by providing a wide range of products and services such as RV rentals, RV storage, and RV maintenance, an RV park business can generate more multiple streams of revenue, which can help to mitigate risks and ensure a stable income. In conclusion, starting an RV park business can be a feasible and profitable venture due to the growing trend for RV travel and camping, the trend for sustainable and eco-friendly travel, and the adaptability to different locations and demographics. Furthermore, the low barrier to entry and ability to generate multiple streams of revenue make it an attractive business idea. From understanding how to choose a lasting business idea to validating a solid business plan, knowing the legal stuff, and getting the scoop on essential tech tools, I'll walk you through an eight-step guide to help organize your creative potential and give your dream of becoming the owner of a business the chance of becoming the next big thing. 1. From creative enthusiast to passionate researcher. If you can change people's lives, you have a business. There is a general opinion that a life-changing business idea or invention comes out of the blue. In reality, you've got to be continuously searching and passionately involved in the subject to get that smooth stroke of genius. And the closer to home the subject matter strikes, the greater your chances of nailing that masterpiece business idea. Consider an area of expertise you have a sincere personal interest in and are knowledgeable about. Improving an existing product or service so you want to buy it. Joining a local franchise, benefits include training and ongoing business support. However, avoid industries you have little knowledge of. 
2. Compare and Contrast Creativity comes from a conflict of ideas. Based on your experience, research, and intuition, make a short list of your three winning choices, and before rolling out the process further, draw up a pros and cons list for each. Think of it as a business plan draft touching on the critical questions you'll be asking yourself in detail later. Get the feel of your target audience and imagine how your products or services can fill a gap in the market. Remember, as an entrepreneur, what you're fighting for isn't only to get an attractive business idea out, it's about eventually feeling worthwhile about your investment, so try to be as honest with yourself as possible. Consider these questions for each shortlisted business idea. On a scale of 1 to 10, how interested and well-informed are you about the topic? What's your target audience and how can your business idea change their life? What's your budget? How does this scale to the average budget needed for similar products? What's your time frame for achieving profit? Do you need a small team or will you be able to handle everything by yourself? Will this business idea work best with a local or nationwide audience? What will you do if this product or service fails? Will you persevere, explore other opportunities, or abandon entrepreneurship? 3. Study your competitors. Learn before you launch. Take time to build your plan and be patient. You've done the research, compared your strengths, and seem to have found just the right niche for your product. Now you can't wait to get it out to market. However, before launching headfirst into the legal, financial, and marketing whirlwind, you need to take a pause and understand who you'll be dealing with. In other words, you must not only study your industry competitors from the inside out, but view them as your best teachers at this point. Consider the top 10 competitors in your industry or niche. Focus on local or online businesses, depending on your own specifics. Study competitors' sales pitch, prices, online and social media presence, local advertising, etc. Word of mouth is still one of the most effective tools for business. Ask friends, co-workers, and neighbors why they use this or that product or service and why. 4. Conquer the formalities. Think strategically about the big picture of what you're accomplishing. Now that you're all set to take action, it's time to get the legal formalities over with. Online business laws are less complicated than regulations for storefronts or even home businesses. But even if you're starting a 100% online business, there are specific formalities involved. Once you know the exact product or service you want to offer and the type of organization you'll be, it's the right time to get professional advice. Before contacting a legal professional, consider, will you operate as a sole proprietorship, limited liability company, or corporation? Consider the specifics of each. Will you be an online business, home-based business, or storefront? Paperwork will vary depending on your choice. Even as a sole proprietor selling online, you'll need a tax ID because your products will be subject to state and federal taxation laws. 5. Write a business plan. Have a robust marketing and sales strategy in mind before launching your business. A concise business plan is like a lamp shedding light on those first challenging months of entrepreneurship, the credo of your new business, and your main strategy stated black on white. A business plan is the mandatory validation of any business idea that will help you look ahead and get financial backup. 6. Location, online and offline. Put yourself out there and show others what you're working on. Whether you'll be operating as an online business, a home business, or a local shop, now is the time to start building up the image around your business idea. Depending on your mode of operation, you'll want to explore leasing options in your neighborhood, set up a home office, or get your online store up and running. Consider, whichever business model you choose, your website is the face you present to the world. 2018 statistics show that 60% of users learn about new products through Instagram. Use this to your advantage and make sure your social media presence is actively working for you. 7. Get essential tools. Hustle the right way. It's not about doing more, it's about doing what you need to do. Even if you're used to the hustle and bustle, organizing your business in its first stages can seem more like creating a new world out of chaos. After getting a business website, you'll need some powerful but cost-effective tools that will help you prioritize time and finances, attract clients, and sustain customer relationships even on the go. Here are some essentials that will help your business idea get rolling. Business phone number from Mighty Call. One of the first things a new business needs is a business phone number. With the Mighty Call virtual phone system, you can choose a toll free or vanity number at no additional cost, automatically set up multiple extensions, get super simple web widgets allowing customers to call you straight from your website, receive voice to text features, and powerful call analytics. Brand logo from Hatchful. 
There's no business without a recognizable logo and branding. If you're looking into alternatives to designer costs, Hatchful by Spotify offers free choices based on your industry, design theme, and needs. While a free solution can never be as unique as a custom-drawn logo, Hatchful comes as close as possible to creating the logo of your dreams with just a few playful clicks on its intuitive interface. Financial Software from Wave When all you need is a simple, transparent accounting tool to get your small business running smoothly, Wave is a great choice. It will help manage your accounting, invoicing, payroll, receipts, and much more, all for free. Email Marketing from MailChimp at 14 million customers and growing, there's no good reason for you not to join the world's largest email marketing platform. You can start free or $10 per month. Social Media Management from Hootsuite After getting your business page up on multiple social platforms, you'll need one convenient mobile app to keep yourself sane. With both free and low-cost plans, Hootsuite lets you link up to 35 social media platforms and 100 apps, schedule posts in advance, communicate with followers without leaving the app, and dig deep into analytics. Time Management from Todoist Time is our everything. With Todoist's free and super easy app, you'll never forget any part of your daily business plan, even with a hectic schedule. Schedule, prioritize, and delegate tasks to others on your team to always be the master of your time. 8. Never stop learning. The road to success is always under construction. Did you know that 46% of businesses fail not because of bad business ideas but due to business incompetence, or that another 30% close down because of a lack of managerial experience? All of these failures tend to happen within the first five years of entrepreneurship. The moral is simple enough, even the most creative business idea and detailed business plans need to be constantly updated with new knowledge. No matter how much you already know in your industry, you'll need to become a lifetime learner to succeed. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart, but it can be incredibly rewarding. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn about how to start your own business. Remember, it's never too late to chase your dreams and we wish you all the best on your journey.